Well, as many of you know, I am a school bus driver as well as a pastor. The pastor thing is just the, the ministry that God's called me to with this church, Catalyst Church. But my main source of income is driving a school bus. So every morning I get up about 5.15 or so, and um, actually it's about 5.30. Um, and I get ready, get jump into my bus and just go, and I do it again in the afternoon. Um, and this morning has been a very interesting day of school bus driving. And I came up with kind of like an illustration that, that I think will affect many of you and because it has affected me as well. Uh, for the last week, there have been wasps that have been uh, flying around within my bus. Um, we see one, we see another one. Um, and they fly around in my bus, and the kids are freaking out. I mean, if you can imagine, these kids are just yelling and screaming in the back of this bus. I mean, they're yelling and screaming. They're like, ah, it's a wasp, it's a wasp. Now they're actually afraid to come into the bus because of the wasps. So I've looked around and around and around my bus for the wasp nest, and I still cannot find it. But it is there. I mean, the bus um, has all these little nooks and crannies in it, but, but the wasp nest is, is there, but I cannot find it. So here's the spiritual illustration that I think is really relevant to each and every one of our lives. We all have these little wasps in our life. They're called sin. These sin things that, that we've tried to kill over and over and over again. The, these wasps in our life that are stinging us. The wasp of... Um, different types of sin. Maybe it's pride. Maybe it's anger. Maybe it's an addiction. Maybe it's just something going on with your family. Maybe it's arrogance. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but I do know that the Holy Spirit is telling you right now a, a certain wasp sin that it's just stinging you and it hurts here and there. And ultimately your wasp sin, if you don't kill off the wasps, um, the, the people in your life will not want to be a part of your life as these kids don't want to necessarily come into my school bus because they're afraid to be stung themselves. Because you don't even understand and I don't even understand my sin and your sin are wasp sins. Um, are stinging us, but as well as they are stinging other people. So there are people within your life and my life that are being stung with your and my sin. Um, so um, in, in this story, I would go around and if I see a wasp, I would take off my flip-flop um, and I would kill the wasp. And I would protect the kids and everything like this. And I think that's one portion of the sin thing that we need to do is we need to kill off these sins that are in our life. Just kill them off, kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. And sooner or later they will go away if we take care of the biggest part of our sin, of the nest that's in our life. So again, we need to... Kill the little wasps that are in our life, the little addictions, the pride issues and everything like that, the, the gossip, the, the lying, the cheating, this, this, the, all these things that well, might be in your heart or my heart that, that are the wasps. But the most important thing that we need to do is we need to find the nest. We need to find the nest. I haven't found it yet, but it is in this bus or is outside this bus. It's somewhere. It might be outside of the woods, but it's somewhere. I need to find out where it is so that the wasp won't come back. And when you look at the Bible, the Bible talks about um, these, this main thing that causes us to sin. And, and the main nest in our lives is ourselves. Ourselves. And in order for us to remove the little wasps in our life that, that keep stinging us and stinging other people, we need to remove the nest of self. The Bible talks about, and Paul talks about all the time, is dying to self. We need to die to ourselves. We need to remove ourselves from the equation and put God at the forefront of our lives. And that is the same thing as killing the wasp nest. If we die to self daily, if we kill ourselves, not literal sense, but kill the fleshly desires that we have, at that time, the little wasp, they'll go away. They'll go away because no more will we want what we want, but we will want what God wants in our lives. So I think it's a great illustration that you and I can need to both pray about and talk about um, and, and, and comment on, online about and just say, you know what, I'm willing to 
die to myself, live it out. And even right now, maybe you're like, man, you're right, you're right, and the Bible is right, that we need to die to self, we'll remove the rest of the, the sins, but at the same time, we need to kill off the little sins that are in our life. So ultimately, yeah, maybe the nest is gone. You've died to self, but those wasps are still alive and well in your life. So you need to repent, turn to God and say, God, I am so very, very, very sorry for having these wasps in my life. I am removing the total self of my life, the wasp nest out of my life. And by doing so, killing off the wasp and removing the wasp nest, we will have, if you want to say, a safe ride. And many people will want to come along the ride with us and they won't be scared of you and the wasp. They won't be scared of the, the, the situations that we're going through. So I want to encourage you with this. Die to self. In other words, do everything you can to do everything for God's glory and not your own. Die to the sins that are in your life and destroy those little wasps that are in your life that are stinging other. And the result is God will be pleased and people will want to come along with the journey. As these kids, as soon as I find this wasp nest and I've killed off all the, all the, all the wasps, the kids will feel safe on this environment of, of the school bus. Maybe not safe with my driving, but that's another story for another day. But safe with the, the kids coming on in and being safe in this environment here. So die to self. Kill off the sinful wasps that are in your life. Do it right now. Do it right now. Go to God and say, I'm sorry. And by doing so, you'll be able to live a life that people want to be a part of. God bless you.